Dear friends, this is my 1018 video. I had got 100 videos up in my YouTube channel that was told to me by Bhomik Talawar, one of my subscribers. I thank him for that. I would also like to assert or not assert, rather request to all of you to note that this channel is not for solving problems for competitive examinations or for some courses. This channel is for me to talk about my love for mathematics and at the same time listen to your love for mathematics and rather exchange ideas and so that some of my love can be the way I love the subject can be transferred to you. You, you can also start loving the subject. So today I uh, announce the start of a new series called Calcula Stories for the Enthusiasts. It will have typed slides and it will actually be uh, talking about calculus in a very story form. I would expect you to know some calculus that would be better for you. So we'll start from a very basic thing and go up. But it is a story. It's a kind of historical story but going up in a up in a way where a lot of interesting things will come up. It will not be, in, this is not a part of the usual calculus course. So it was a, this, this lecture was given by me as a lecture called the story of the calculus in NPTEL during the first phase of COVID where they were doing some popular lectures. But what I now decided is, is to upgrade the slides with much more new materials and so that it becomes a completely new slide so and I can in a series wise talk about that and you will have a lot of fun and you will talk about very you know, as mathematicians studying from Archimedes to our own Madhava of Kerala to Newton to Leib Leibniz to uh, many many others to Riemann and to Darbu and many many others. So, um, of course, Bolza Bolzano, Viestras, and all, all great people actually. So, we, we uh, would uh, discuss all this. There are certain technical things, some proofs would also be done. They would be explained, which can be done, can be explained. Uh, things like elliptic integrals would come. Things like applications to gravitation, mechanics would come. All sorts of things. And the power of calculus would just be shown through it. It will just do about one variable calculus, no more than one variable. That can be taken up later on. That 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 will be a much more a different kind of thing. So here I would like to introduce you and welcome you to, to that program called Calculus Stories for the Enthusiast. And also introduce a book which I think everybody who loves calculus should read it, Calculus, an Intuitive and Physical Approach by Maurice Klein. Maurice Klein was one of the great mathematicians of the 20th century and huge contribution to electromagnetics. Working at the New York University's Courant Institute, he wrote fabulous books on the history of mathematics, on mathematics education. And this book, he expects you to know some calculus. Calculus, an intuitive and physical approach published by Dover Books. And it's pretty costly. I would not say students to have it, but at least you, if you have it in the library or on the net, you can get it. He expects you to know some calculus because he mixes integration and differentiation stories together. But at the same time, what he intends you to do is that to look at it not from always from a very rigorous point, but allow your imagination and intuition to run free. And he gives you a myriad of applications from gravity, electromagnetics to classical mechanics to many other things and to see the sheer power of that subject. I remember in 2010 in, in Hyderabad, there was this International Congress of Mathematicians and one of the mathematicians was giving a speech. He said, oh, people talk about topology, he was a Chinese guy, people talk about topology, algebra, X, Y, Z, but what is really in man, useful to mankind? Calculus, so I talk about calculus, that is what he said. So it's like this. So I hope that you enjoy uh, this uh, series that will come in. Please understand that mathematics is a body of ideas. It is not about knowing some formulas and solving problems. Formulas cannot be bought into work unless there is an idea behind it. Formulas come because of ideas that leads you to certain conclusions and that gives you formulas. Formulas don't come out of magic. There is no magic in mathematics. You can call, have a term called mathematic. Some things, some things might look wondrous. But there is no magic in mathematics. There is absolutely beautiful, nice ideas. And, and those ideas are largely intuitive. And that is what we are going to do through this series of lectures called Calculus Stories for the Enthusiasts. My dear friends, 
please come abroad with me have a happy day thank you